Greens are nice and soft and receptive today, so it's going to be target golf once again for these ladies. This will be line two, two. You are to a back left pin. Not, not from, from Martin Tim. Yeah, just 135 left for her, Kate. Not phased by the moment at all. She looks ready to go. Oh, that's a pretty good response to Jin Young Ko. That is, that is more than pretty good for her. Great approach, and you would. To be fair, I almost gave her that. She's that good from that distance. What a great. What a good wedge in, holding her nerve because you've got to be feeling the nerves, Trish, on a champ on a champ in this group. Pretty much given her this one already. What a good three from Nelly Corder, trying to stay close. It's going to swing hard from left to right. It's going to be downhill and pretty speedy the last couple of feet. Oh, what a time to strike. How about that two from Corder? The margin now only one. Game on this par five, downhill, right to left. Uh. Might be an eagle, but it'll be a very easy tap in for a birdie for Corder. And what that does temporarily is draw her level with Jin Young Ko on 15 under par. Tim, that was fascinating. From the right inside. And attack it, she does. They drew level momentarily for about two minutes. And then Ko back out in front. See chance for Yuka Sasso at the ninth. And it's a hole. Oh, she's just going to pitch it into the bank. She's going to go the aerial route. What a good choice that was. Excellent. Really well. Almost too short. Oh, that's a gem. Danielle Kang. The sub -air edge there. A great view, that is. You know immediately. Yep. <laughs> I love watching that view. Someone's putt. Sokol's the only player over the card. Blink and you miss her. And here she is at nine. <laughs> she really is so quick. It's great. A fabulous shot in as well. Left below the flag. So that will be an uphill birdie putt from ten feet. Yeah, and I should say over the card for the round today. She's down the hill, right to left. Has she given it enough? Yeah. Oh, has she ever? Oh, that went in with some pace on it. Male or female, up ahead to nine. So cool. Could she? Yes. Oh, yes, she, can. she does. 424 playing every part of its yardage today. Yuka Sasso down the green from about 50 feet away for birdie. Oh, you little beauty. Not so little, Trish. Just slightly downhill. Should move a little bit from her left to right. Yeah, sensational stuff. Sticks to her game plan. Blink and you miss it. Elizabeth Zokal going for a birdie at the 11th. Oh, it's going to try. Not many birdies to be had at 11, but one. This for her sixth birdie of the day. Not much in this either. Oh, walked it in, loved it from the moment she hit six birds. Wow. Oh, and look at the fist pump. Look how much that meant to her. Oh, that is good. That is brave. What an excellent shot from Alison Corpus. I like this play, trying to take the slope out of it. It's going to be really slow the last couple of feet. Very nearly up and in. Birdie here at 13. This could get very tasty indeed. Whoa. That's a beauty. Absolute gem. In it goes. Game on. from Corpus. So down the hill. Started it perfectly. Great angle to see. You could see it was going in all the way. She knew it. <laughs> in the two par fives on the back nine at Sentosa Golf Club, the 13th provides a key scoring opportunity for the world's best.
Measuring over 500 yards on the scorecard, the Aon Insight tells us that power is more valuable than accuracy off the tee. While only 63% of the field hit the fairway in 2022, missing the fairway here has practically no impact on scoring. Meanwhile, an extra 25 yards of distance is worth 10 times more than the risk of missing the fairway. Last year, the field made birdie or better here 42% of the time. Among the players to take advantage of this scoring opportunity was Jin Young Ko, who played the hole in three under par for the week on her way to a two-stroke victory. One of the easiest holes on the golf course today. Second easiest it has been on the golf course. And players, as you can see, are more than eight times as likely to card birdie or eagle than a bogey. It holds its line. It's another birdie on the par five. And what a time to strike. Another American now, nearly caught up. Yeah, just 96 left for Nelly. Got to try to carry it all the way there. She very nearly does. It. Player not able to get home in two on 16 is Ayaka Furue. But playing in a very different way and effective. Edge. One goes in. We need more of those, Nelly. But it moves her to 14 under, three behind. Head to Nelly's, but she can get this one up in the air if she wants to. Well, this is a pretty towering looking shot from Jin Young. Well, there's your answer, TJ. Yes, she can. Four under for the world number one. Super popular. The crowd love her. And especially when she could conjure up. Yeah, turn up uphill light. Pretty straightforward bunker shot. Oh. Makes all the difference. Second shot for Bu High. Started it right at the flag. Oh! oh. <laughs> Stays there. But very nearly found it. 125 for Corpuj. Great shot. Very nice. Only snag is how hard do you hit it? Oh, go on, get in. Oh. <laughs> what a way to finish. That's what a way. Draining. Dean. What about 17? Danielle Kang. Well, That'll that... be good enough for an up and down. Yeah, that's the list to get one shot back. She started at nine under. Go on, get in. Oh, that's nice. What a nice feeling when you've had an hour off with that putt and then you come back. She's just got to clip it. Oh, we've seen some things over the years. Anything on the putting surface, we can start carving her name on the trophy. One final swing of uh, that golf club is going to be an... Sensational. What a great shot from Alison Corbett's. Below her feet, only 131 left. That looked a good swing. Oh, yeah. You can always tell when Nelly hits a good one. She keeps looking at. From the left, coming back up the hill at the end. <laughs> well, almost the. at the last. It's a nice way to finish. Yes! Go on, Nelly. It seems fitting in a way because they were the two main protagonists for her here on the final day. But we have our first ever title defence in 15 years here in Singapore. Jin Young Ko goes back to back at the HSBC Women's World Championship. What has happened, though? in the last 12 months is all flooding through her now. It's an emotional victory, and it is her 14th on the LPGA Tour. Yeah, and her caddy there just, just consoling her. <laughs> That's probably the last thing she needs at this stage of the game.
is water poured all over her. However, she really just needs to take all this in. Soak it up, because this is how much it means to these players. 